Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome to another rugby tutorial video. Today's video is going to be on how to do the ground grubber. Alright, we're talking about the small kick done along the ground in the game of rugby uh, as, as an attacking weapon. It can also be used for other things, but we'll get into that. If you do like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps out a hell of a lot. If you want to watch more rugby videos, check out my library. If you want to subscribe, please do. If not, Let's roll the intro and get into the video. This is exclusive. Go! Go! Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Oh. Now, the ground grubber is honestly the oldest trick in the book. The way the ball's shaped these days, uh, can, you know, it really does make it quite easy to do. So this video is not going to be hard for you guys to grasp, but there's definitely certain things that I do want to put across still. So the first thing being the fact that the ball is this shape. I want it to be bouncing end over end just like this, okay? You don't want it to be bouncing like this because that is when the ball, being the shape that it is, can bounce anywhere. If you've got a ball that is rolling along the ground, such as this, it's most likely not only going to stay in a straight line, but eventually it's going to pop up, and if you're running behind it at the right speed, you can run onto the ball and, and score an amazing try. The ground grubber is an awesome trick to have. I feel like it doesn't matter what your number is on the field, from 1 to 15, you should still be able to kick the ball. If you're in a position, there might be no fallback, you've got men running onto it, you just put a little ground grubber through, and just watch the magic happen. So the first two things you're going to want to focus on are the most fundamental. Okay, how you kick the ball and how you're going to want the ball to travel. Like I said before, you want the ball to come off your boot rolling along the ground in a nice up and down motion like that. The way you're going to do that is by hitting the ball basically on your toe. So you're going to want to have the ball coming off your toe in line, in the line that you're going to want it to be rolling in. If I'm running along like straight and I literally want the ball to go completely straight, I'm going to literally drop the ball on the front of my toe, okay, and it's like, it's kind of like you're bending your toe downwards when you kick it. So you want as flat, of a, as flat and as wide of a surface on the top of your boot as possible, if that makes sense. So we're going to be dropping it on the toe, it's going to be coming off somewhat like that, okay, I've got my foot flattened out my foot, it's going to be coming off like this. And what that's going to do, it's going to propel the ball, your, your foot is going to come like that, it's going to propel the ball in that sort of motion along the ground. Which is going to look somewhat like this. You might have seen there that the ball slightly curved. Depending on where it hits your foot, you can actually determine how the ball travels. So if you want the ball to travel in a straight line, you're basically going to want your foot to be traveling in a straight line. If, for any reason, you want the ball to actually curve, so let's say we're running towards here, or right, running towards the goal line, I don't want the ball to go completely straight, I actually want it to curve around. I don't know if you guys have seen, the, especially in the game of rugby league, when there's a lot of ground grubbers on the last kick, on the last tackle, sorry. If they're good enough, they can basically kick the ball off the side of their foot so that it goes this way and slowly, slowly curves around. You know, I've, I've even seen the ball curve around defenders before. So with that said, the only thing you're going to change is the ball is slightly going to be on an angle like this. All right, so you're not going to be kicking it completely straight anymore. Basically, it's going to be on an angle like that. You're going to be kicking it. The foot is still going to be coming through in a straight line, but the ball is not going to be up like this. It's going to be up like this. So it will start to roll like that and eventually, eventually come, come true and uh, start rolling straight. So I'm going to try that right now. Let's see how it goes. Something like that. So one, one time in the game guys, I know the game is so fast, it's so fast paced these days, but if you find that you're on the back line, you've got men running forward and there's no fullback, okay, the fullback may have brought the ball into a tackle, lost the ball, you guys have got it, depending on, it doesn't matter where you are on the field, you could be in your own 22, if there's no fullback, fucking give it a boot man, give it a boot. 
whether it's in the air or along the ground, take a chance. I would say do a ground grubber. Even if you're in your own 22, just give it a little pop forward. If your guys are running with you, there's no fucking fallback. They're all going to run straight through. Hopefully it's end over end. It's going to pop up. Boom, Bob's your uncle, you're in. If there's no fallback, kick it to yourself. You know, that's not out of the question. What I want to say is that if you do do it, obviously make sure that your, your attackers are behind you so that they're not offside. There's one way to stop a move in its tracks and that is being offside. So try not to do that. You can use the ground grubber for a touch finder. You know, if you are in your own half, you see that there's a gap in the defence. You don't, you, you, if you're not confident in, uh, in, in kicking the ball in the air, a ground grubber could, could work. You still, you still put just as much effort and as much power into it, it's just along the ground. So I mean, if I was going to kick for touch using a ground grubber, it would, it would look something like this. And it still goes 50 meters and you know it is pretty accurate so anyways guys that that's pretty much it you know I want to say there's nothing like a beautifully executed ground grubber it's it's it looks fucking amazing so that's it guys all I want to say is I love using the ground grubber if I'm down at the field by myself pretty much any move that I practice I'll always put at least a little chip kick or a ground grubber in there just to mix it up a bit you know when the ball is rolling along Practice running along behind it, waiting for it to sit up. Practice that. So then, you know, I've done that so many times, guys, that actually when I'm running along behind the ball, I'm actually watching the ball, and I can, I, I'll, I know when it's going to bounce up, you know, and that's just through practice. That's that's one thing I would say is is focus on the ball and how it bounces, which means that if it is in the air and it's and it's, you know, if it is in the air and it's rolling around everywhere, you can actually look at that sort of in a split second determine how you think it's going to uh, land on the ground and then run either which way and uh, you know if you do get good at that fuck, it's a huge huge advantage to know where and when the ball is going to bounce obviously it's not going to work all the time but practice 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 makes perfect and no one's perfect so with that said I'm going to leave you guys now I hope you guys enjoyed the video or got something from it if you have once again hit that like button um, and uh, I'll see you in the next one guys so yeah, train hard, eat well, peace.